One thing I know, one thing I know, good must prevail over evil. Why, oi, why, Peace and love. Sending love to our beating hearts. One love. This is I of Fire. Blazing a fire on illusions and deceptions and delusions. Greetings from the heart of Jamaica. The roots and the trees and the birds and the bees and the infinite leaves. Giving praises to the almighty one of creation. Sending love to all beating hearts. This is I of Fire, the human tree of life. <laughs> Everything is love So let's share some love right now Everything is love So let's share some love right now Let's share some love right now Sending love to our beating hearts One love, peace Truth, rights and justice These thoughts that I'm sharing with you, they're my own thoughts. They're things that I've learned through years of experience, years of meditation, <laughs> years of philosophizing and pondering and traveling. In my seeking for knowledge, I've traveled around the world. I've lived in Jerusalem. I lived in Jerusalem for six months. I lived in Ghana, in Africa, with my wife and three kids. I've traveled around Africa, I've been to Tanzania. I've traveled to Egypt, to Sinai. I've traveled to India. And I have a philosophy degree with a minor in psychology. Yet still, I don't think I know it all. I'm still seeking knowledge. These thoughts that I'm offering to you, I offer for your consideration. And if you disagree with my opinions, I welcome your opinion. Life is full of perspectives. Whatever perspective you have, there's always going to be somebody with a completely opposing opinion. It's the way of the world. I offer these thoughts for your consideration. They're not a set of rules. <laughs> I'm not trying to start a religion here. Just a discussion. There's a lot of things that we don't think about. Most of us spend our life in a kind of like dream, just living by the programs that we've learned from our conditioning, from our social conditioning. We're like automatons. We've been programmed <laughs> from childhood and then we just live the rest of our life carrying out our programs. It's good to look into things, decipher stuff, examine it for yourself. Like I said, I'm offering you these thoughts for your consideration. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> today's subject, willpower, feeling and healing. How are they connected? Willpower feeling and healing. I can remember when I was younger, had an intuitive understanding 
a lot of these things I'm talking about now, but it wasn't developed yet. And I realized that people who believe in different things tend to believe that the things that they're believing in is giving them power or strength. And I realized that the real power comes from us, ourselves, not from the things that we believe in. But it's our belief, our faith, our complete faith, our knowingness, which is the source of power, not the thing that we believe in. So I used to say things like that, like, I used to say things like, even if you believe in a stone, it doesn't matter what you believe in, you could believe in a stone or a leaf. It's your faith that matters. Like a wise teacher once said, faith can move mountains. But this has been misinterpreted. And people believe that if you have faith in the teacher, you can move mountains. But it's your faith coming from within yourself. Your knowingness, your certainty that can move mountains. Not the thing that you believe in. The power is coming from yourself. People in positions of society, high up in society, like doctors <laughs> and lawyers and, and leaders of society, they know what I'm talking about. In the medical profession, they have a thing called placebo, which some of us know about, but it's not really emphasized. When they're testing new medicines, the pharmaceutical industry knows that if you tell somebody this pill is going to heal you, it will heal you. And it's not the pill that's healing you, it's your own belief, your own faith in that pill. This is incredible. There should be more emphasis on the placebo. More emphasis on the placebo. Because it means that we can heal ourselves. It's not the doctor that's healing us. It's our faith, our belief in the doctor. There's lots of good stuff on this. You check out the works of Dr. Joe Dispenza, Darren Brown. Actors have gone out onto the street and pretended to be faith healers. And they've healed people of pains, and all kinds of things. We have the ability to heal ourselves, and the power is coming from ourselves. When we have faith, when I say faith, I don't mean like in a weak way, you know, faith, belief. I'm talking about complete certainty. When we have complete certainty in something, not just healing in anything, we can literally move mountains. It doesn't matter if you're an atheist or a, a theist or an empiricist or an idealist. You know, it doesn't matter if you believe in God or you don't believe in God or if you believe the whole universe is material and there's no consciousness or if you believe that the whole universe is just consciousness and there's no materiality. It's the strength and the conviction of your belief which is going to give you power. We are interdimensional energy generators. Interdimensional energy generators. And we generate everything around us, all that we can perceive and all that we can't perceive. But most of this is happening on a subconscious level. Just like in dreams when we, our consciousness is generating everything in our dream. A similar thing happens in our waking state, in our waking reality. The suggestions that we give to our subconscious become our reality. Our subconscious is not just producing thoughts and feelings. Our subconscious is producing our whole world generating our whole world.
And there are many aspects to our subconscious. Anything that we suggest to our subconscious with complete conviction and faith is going to be our reality. It's all about our certainty, our knowingness. And this is where willpower comes in. If we can have a complete conviction in something, a complete belief and certainty that something is going to manifest in our lives and hold on to that conviction, hold on to that feeling with willpower, hold on to it as long as possible, then we strengthen the suggestion given to our subconscious. There's two aspects of consciousness and I've likened them to male and female. The subconscious is the, the womb of creation, the woman. And consciousness is the male. Our consciousness plants little seed bubbles into the womb of our subconscious. And these go on to germinate, grow and manifest our world, our reality around us. Our universes, our world, is held together by our conviction, by our certainty that this reality is what it is. Our universes synchronize together and form this collective reality that we call our world. But the physical world is not fixed and sequential as we believe. It's only our belief in the sequentiality of materiality that holds it together. Am I making sense? Our willpower is the driving force of our conviction, the conviction of our beliefs, of our knowingness. We can exercise our willpower by focusing on just one thing at a time. When we direct our willpower inwards to our feelings about things, we can increase their generative potential. When we exercise our willpower, we are exercising that faculty within ourselves which controls the potency of our manifestation ability. And then we can relax in the notion that everything is love. Everything is love right now. <laughs> everything is love. If we really know that everything is love, I mean really feel it, within ourselves and hold on to that feeling of love, knowing that everything is love, feeling the love within, feeling the love from others, feeling the love from the birds and the bees and the infinite trees and the breeze, feeling the love within ourselves, then the universe will conform to our conviction of love. Any feeling that we can hold on to within ourselves is going to spiral out into our world manifesting and generating the feelings that we produce inside. Our inner world is a reflection of our outer world. Our inner world can be likened to the kingdom of heaven. When we hold loving feelings within ourselves and hold on to those loving feelings with conviction and visualize what it is we want and how it would feel and with an undeterred willpower hold on to those feelings they will spiral out 
into our world, generating our world. The outer world is a reflection of our inner world. Those who have really strong willpower can unite the two worlds in one for in instant manifestation of the inner world and outer world. As a great teacher once said, in earth as it is in heaven, heaven is not somewhere in the sky, some mysterious place in some realm somewhere. Heaven is within can be within. <laughs> Some people have hell within. Be careful of what you hold within yourself. Anything that you hold within yourself with conviction, feeling and willpower is eventually going to be revealed in the material world. Willpower, feeling, and healing. We have all these different ideologies and philosophies. But they're weak without willpower. They're weak without feeling. They're just dogma. Dry philosophies. It takes a human being with willpower and feeling to ignite the philosophy into something powerful. And the power is not coming from the philosophy or the ideology or the religion. It's coming from the strength of the feeling and the willpower, conviction of the human being's belief, of the human being's knowingness. Yes, we are the center of creation. We are at the center of our universe. You're at the center of your universe. <laughs> I'm the center of my universe. And our universe is synchronized forming this collective reality. And for us to have control over the manifestation and generation of our universe, feeling is the secret. Willpower is the secret. Righteousness is the secret. <laughs> one thing I know, one thing I know, good must prevail over evil. <laughs> That's the one certainty in the universe. Good will always prevail over evil. There's a reason for everything. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes bad stuff that happens. Not sometimes, all the time. All bad things that happen are lessons pointing us in the right direction. So once again, sending love to all beating hearts. Peace, love, truth, rights, and justice. Everything is love. So let's share some love right now. Everything is love. So let's share some love right now. <laughs>